toasts are often a highlight of the wedding, just maybe not for the people who have to give them. Hey there, I'm Allison here on Wed Mayhem, and if you're giving a speech at a wedding rehearsal or reception and you're worried about what to say, relax. We've got you covered with the 10 do's and don'ts of writing an amazing wedding speech that will help you write the most unforgettable wedding toast. When writing your speech, you don't need to mention everything. If you did your homework around picking a theme, you probably have a lot of thoughts and memories about the couple written down. While you'll definitely want to share the best bits, you don't have to go into a full-on chronology of your decade-long friendship. So pick the anecdotes that best illustrate your theme and save the rest for happy hour. Next, make sure you do explain how you know the bride and groom. There are probably a lot of people in that room, and while you might be BFFs with half of them, the other half has no clue you've known the groom since kindergarten. So early on in your speech, maybe even as an easy opening, introduce yourself and explain your relationship to the couple. No matter how obvious your relationship is, even if you're the father of the bride, not everyone in the wedding will know who you are. So remember to introduce yourself. The earlier, the better. Next, make sure that you don't ignore half of the couple. Even if you know every last detail about the bride, from her elementary school crush to her favorite Netflix series, but know next to nothing about her partner, try to make your toast about both of them. After all, it's both of their wedding days, not just your friends. But if you truly don't know the other partner that well, interview your friend. Ask why they love them so much, how they knew the other was the one, or even why they think you'll love them once you get to know them. Ultimately, remember to incorporate both partners into your wedding speech. Before we move on, I'd love to tell you about today's video sponsor, Wed Mayhem. Wed Mayhem helps you navigate the wedding planning process every step of the way. Our all-in-one platform features articles, videos, and more to help inspire and empower you with all the information and resources you need to plan the wedding of your dreams. So check us out in the link at the top of the description for more wedding planning resources. Moving on, remember to keep things positive. If you're still trying to figure out how to begin your speech, an easy opener is to simply congratulate the couple. Tell them how happy you are for them, how they inspire you. Maybe even throw in a favorite quote about love or matrimony. This isn't the time to recount heartbreak or make anyone uncomfortable. And on making sure you don't make everyone uncomfortable, don't mention exes. On the topic of keeping things positive, do tell a joke or funny anecdote. Humor is tough, so if it doesn't come naturally for you, feel free to skip it altogether. But if you do want to try your hand at a funny wedding toast, find one of the easiest and best sources of humor, real life. Maybe you and the groom had a hilarious run-in with a bride's parents, or maybe the couple met at a mechanical bull competition. The funniest things are usually true stories, so use yours to your advantage. If you still need more comic inspiration though, go to the source. Watch stand-up specials for examples of jokes that work and don't. Be self-deprecating if that feels right, or bring a related prop like that blown up photo of the bride and groom on the mechanical bull. Whatever you decide, test the jokes on a neutral party to make sure that what you think is funny is actually funny. On the topic of jokes, make sure that you don't tell inside jokes. What's hilarious to two people may be totally nonsensical to everyone else. So try to stick to stories that could appeal to everyone and don't roast anyone too hard. You don't want to embarrass anyone or make your audience uncomfortable. Remember, this is your friend or family member's wedding, not a Comedy Central special. Next, and one of the most important things to do is practice. Unless you're an improv all-star, a wedding speech is definitely something you'll want to practice ahead of time. If you can memorize what you want to say and how to say it, great. But if you're like the rest of us and can't, or you're nervous that your mind will go blank, it's totally okay to use notes. Just try not to read from them verbatim. Practicing will help you become super familiar with your speech, will help you alleviate jitters and make sure everything goes smoothly. So try recording yourself to hear pacing issues or detect spots that just aren't working. Or even better, practice in front of an audience so you can see where they laugh and smile or maybe where you need to pause. Ultimately, the more you practice, the more likely you are to rock that wedding day toast. Another super important piece is to make sure that you don't go on forever. Since you've already practiced your speech several times, you should know exactly how long it takes. You have been practicing your speech, right? That being said, make sure you talk to your bride and groom to see how long they want your speech to be. But if you or the bride and groom aren't sure how long the speech should be, check out our blog post from a wedding planner on wedding toast etiquette. I know I said there were 10 tips, but I wanna give you one bonus one. Do close strong. This may seem obvious, but it's so important and may set the tone for the rest of the night. Hopefully, as you put together your theme and wrote your speech, a closing will come naturally. Something 
something sentimental that ties it all together and brings you back where you started, perfectly wrapping your theme and ending on a high note. But if you're still struggling, don't worry. Some easy and impactful ways to end a wedding speech include stating how happy you are for the couple, offering your best wishes, and asking everyone to raise their glasses. And trust us, no one's going to be sad about taking a sip of champagne. So there you have it, the 10 do's and don'ts of writing an amazing wedding speech. I hope you all got value out of this video. And if you're looking for more wedding planning content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to Wed Mayhem. We'll see you in the next one.